Good morning all of you. Welcome to the second part of kinetics. In this part we are discussing the integrated rate law expression for different orders of reaction. That is integrated rate law expression for first order, second order, third order and gen and for zero order reaction then uh, how to derive half life period for these reactions etc. So these things we can discuss in this video. First of all, let's discuss the integrated rate law expression for first order reaction. For a general first order reaction of the type A giving B with a rate constant K1. We can say at a time t equal to 0, let A be the concentration of reactant and 0 be the concentration of product. After a time t second, if x amount of product is formed, we can say the concentration of reactant after a time t is a minus x. So, the rate law expression or rate uh, we can write as instantaneous rate dx by dt is equal to rate constant into concentration of reactant at a time t that is k1 into a minus x. Now, to calculate the total uh, rate of reaction we can integrate this expression so in order to integrate we can rearrange this expression in the form of integration that is dx by a minus x equals k1 into dt now we can integrate this expression so integral dx by a minus x equals integral k1 dt we know integral of 1 by x is ln x ln or l to the base e ln a minus x into we have to multiply with the coefficient of x that is minus 1 minus ln a minus x equals k1 a constant into integral dt is t plus we have to write the constant of integration to calculate the value of c we have to apply the limiting condition that is at a time t equal to 0, we know the concentration of product x is 0. So, we can apply this here minus ln a minus 0 that is minus ln a equals k1 into 0 plus c. So, c equals minus ln a. So, we can uh, substitute the value of uh, constant of integration c in this equation. So, we get minus ln a minus x equals k1 t minus ln a. So, this minus ln a can be brought to the left side so that it become plus ln a. ln a minus ln a minus x equals k1 into t. We know ln a minus ln b is ln a by b. So, ln a by a minus x equals k1 t. So, we got ln a by a minus x equals k1 into t. So, this ln is to the base e. To convert it into uh, log to the base 10, we can multiply it with 2.303. So, we can write 2.303 log a by a minus x equals k1 t or k1 equals 2.303 by t log a by a minus x. So, this is the rate equation or equation for rate constant of a first order reaction. Here k1 is the rate constant, t is the time. A is the concentration, initial concentration of reactant. X is the amount of product formed after a time t. Or we can say A minus X is the concentration of a reactant left over after a time t. Next, let's see the half-life of a first order reaction. We know half-life is the time taken for the decomposition of half of the initial concentration. So, it is denoted as T half. And if you have say 10 gram of the substance, how long it took to decompose 5 gram. 
so that is called half life of a reaction and to calculate the half life of a first order reaction let's take the rate constant equation that is k1 equals 2.303 by t log a by a minus x so we know when t equals t half we know x amount of product formed is a by 2 so we can substitute these values in the rate equation so we get k1 equals 2.303 divided by t half into log of a by a minus a by 2 is a by 2 so we get 2.303 into log 2 log 2 is 0 0.3010 so when you multiply 2.303 by t half into 0 0.3010 so when you multiply 2.303 with 0 0.3010 you get k1 equals 0 0.693 by t half or t half equals 0 0.693 by k1 so this is the equation for half life of a first order reaction t half equals 0 0.693 by k k1 and from this equation it is clear that the half life of a first order reaction is independent of the initial concentration because the a term is not anywhere in the equation so whatever be the amount of substance you are taking t half is independent of that concentration in the same way we can write the integrated rate law expression for a second order reaction so for a second order reaction we have the general equation 2a giving products and let's k to be the rate constant of second order reaction so here also we know at time t equal to 0 let a be the concentration of reactant and 0 be the concentration of product after a time t second if x amount of product is formed let a minus x be the concentration of reactant now we can write the rate expression dx by dt is equal to rate constant k2 into concentration of reactant here we have 2a so we have to write a minus x raised to 0 sorry raised to 2 so to calculate the total rate we can rearrange and integrate this expression dx by a minus x the whole square equals k2 into dt now we can integrate this expression the integral of 1 by x square is minus 1 by x and also we have to multiply by the coefficient of x that is minus 1 so minus into minus it become plus so 1 by a minus x equals k2 into integral dt is t plus constant of integration so to calculate the value of c we can apply the limiting condition that is at t equals 0 x equals 0 that means when we apply this condition over this equation we get 1 by a minus 0 that is 1 by a equals k2 into 0 plus c or c equals c equals 1 by a so we get we can substitute this constant value in the equation so 1 by a minus x equals k2 into t plus 1 by a or we can uh, rearrange this as 1 by a 1 by a minus x minus 1 by a equals k2 into t now we can write k2 equals 1 by t into we can take the lcm a in a into a minus x upon it can be cross multiplied a minus a minus x so that means a minus a plus x so we get k2 rate constant of second order reaction equals 1 by t into x by a into a minus x so this is the expression for rate constant of a second order reaction where k2 is the rate constant 
t is the time x is the amount of uh, product formed after a time t a is the initial concentration now let's calculate the half life of second order reaction for this we can first write the equation for rate constant of second order reaction that is k2 equals 1 by t into x by a into a minus x now we can substitute when t equals t half x equals a by 2 so on, on substituting this value we get k2 equals 1 by t half into a by 2 divided by a into a minus a by 2 is a by 2 so this a by 2 get cancelled and we get k2 equals 1 by a into t half or t half equals 1 by k2 a so this is the expression for half life of a second order reaction so we can see from the equation that half life of a second order reaction is inversely proportional to initial concentration now let's derive the integrated rate law expression for a zero order reaction <coughs> for zero order reaction we can write dx by dt is equal to k0 into a minus x raised to zero so a minus x raised to zero we know it is 1 so we can write dx by dt equals k0 or dx equals k0 into dt and to calculate the net uh, rate of a reaction we can integrate the expression integral dx equals integral k0 dt so integral of dx is x x is equal to k0 into t plus c to calculate the value of c we can apply the limiting condition at t equals 0 x equals 0 that is Uh, we will get 0 equals k0 into t that is 0 plus c that means c is equal to 0 so you have the equation x equals k0 t or k0 equals x by t so this is the rate equation for a zero order reaction now we can calculate the half life of a zero order reaction we know the equation for uh, rate constant of uh, zero order k0 equals x by t so when t equals t half we know x equals a by 2 so k0 equals a by 2 divided by t half that is a by 2 into t half or you can rearrange t half equals a by 2 into k0 so this is the expression for half life of a zero order reaction so here we know the half life of a zero order re reaction is directly proportional to initial concentration a now let's generalize the expression for half life of an nth order reaction as t half is proportional to 1 by a raised to n minus 1 where a is the initial concentration and n is the order of the reaction now let's see if it works for all orders of reaction for a first order reaction from this equation we can write t half is proportional to 1 by a raised to 1 minus 1 that is 1 by a raised to 0 or 1 so that means t half is independent of initial concentration okay it is independent and we have we have the equation for t half of first order as 0.693 by k k1 so that means t half is independent of initial concentration and let's see for second order reaction from this equation we have t half proportional to 1 by a raised to 2 minus 1 that is 1 by a and we have the expression for t half of second order reaction as 1 by a into k2 that means t half is inversely proportional to first power of initial concentration in the same way we can apply and also we can see for a zero order reaction t half is proportional to 1 by a raised to 0 minus 1 that is 1 by a inverse or 
t half is directly proportional to a and we already have the equation for t half of uh, zero order reaction as t half equals a by 2 into k0 so we can generalize that half life of an nth order reaction is proportional to 1 by a raised to n minus 1 so that is all about the integrated rate low expression so we have seen the integrated rate low expression for first order reaction second order reaction zero order reaction and we have also seen the calculation of half life of a, uh, uh, these the, uh, these reactions and we have derived the general expression for half life of nth order reaction hope you understood this thank you all for watching